I'm Jack, he said cheerfully. Isabella, scolded Kelly. Sorry, welcome to the pack. And if you want to work, said Kelly. <laughs> Miss Jenny was glad Jack wasn't hurt, but she was disappointed. The pack was widening the road beneath the old quarry bridge. Jack and Alfie were loading Max. Dust and dirt flew everywhere. Work had never been so much fun. Well done, Jack, called Kelly. Hold on, Jack, called Kelly. And he rushed. Are you all right, Jack? Cracking crew, laughed Kelly. With and a new school. Thomas's friends were all busy preparing the site. All about the very busy site. So you must slow down, Jack, Kelly boomed. You'll have an accident. Not me, Jack shouted cheerfully. Max, Monty, Kelly called. Slow down. <laughs> Miss Jenny was cross when she heard the news. Percy had arrived during the workman's break. Was going to tell a Halloween story. Then Kelly began. Once upon a time, there was an old steam truck. He was very cross. Someone had taken one of his headlamps. And everyone listened quietly as Kelly told the story of the one-eyed truck. And finally, the one-eyed truck chased the loader into the deepest, darkest part of the forest. Luckily, the loader got away. But according to legend, the one-eyed truck still wanders the forest, blowing his whistle and looking for a headlamp, whispered Kelly. Maybe he wants yours. Break's over, said Kelly. Back to work. One-eyed truck, yelled Monty. There is no one-eyed truck, said Kelly. Especially too hard, frowned Kelly. Strong winds are dangerous for a crane. Kelly's crane arm didn't like the wind. Uh-oh. This is bad. But it was too late. I think so, but is anyone else hurt? Soon Kelly was back on Thomas's low loader. I'm sorry, Miss Jenny, said Kelly. Me too, said Kelly. But he was worried. What if he fell over again and hurt someone? That night, the wind blew, and the rains pounded down. The repairman worked all night fixing Kelly's wheels. Everyone had gone to work, except Kelly. The rain had stopped, but the wind was still blowing, and he was worried. Then Miss Jenny came to the sheds with urgent news. Kelly was still afraid he might fall over and hurt someone. Can't you send someone else? He asked. And we must rescue her. Soon Kelly and Miss Jenny arrived. Kelly had to remove the piano. Soon Kelly lowered the piano safely to the ground. Now he had the hardest job of all. Slowly, he started to pull Isabella back onto the road. Kelly was worried. He stopped. You can do it! Kelly knew he couldn't let the wind stop him. He started his winch again. And harder. Isabella was finally back on the road. Phew. Well done, Kelly, said Miss Jenny. Well done. At last, Kelly had his confidence back. Isabella was on her way again. She was happy. Come on, Byron, Kelly whispered. At last, Byron pulled out, and Percy was glad his friend was... Well done, shouted Kelly. Well done, shouted everyone. Is it called the lightning tree, asked Thomas. You'll know, Kelly laughed. It's the biggest tree in the forest. Jack and Alfie made their way through the forest. Before long, Kelly was helping too. 
the three of them str get strained to hold up the Alfie push and push. Jack raced up just in time. The workmen soon attached the props. The lightning tree was safe. Hooray. Miss Jenny was pleased. A Kelly, Oliver, Jack, and Ep Kelly and Isabella had been clearing fallen trees since the crack of dawn. Car park is covered with fallen trees. You could rely on us, Steve Buster. At the workman's coffee break, Thomas could see that Alfie was unhappy. Break's over, shouted Kelly. Back to work. The cat and kittens were safe. We're small, said Kelly, but you got a big heart. He was proud. And he... Train it, train it. You name it, then we all can... We're a cracking crew. 